1976, my family was traveling across America, raising funds to go and be missionaries to Rhodesia to plant what we thought would be the first interracial church in Salisbury, Rhodesia, now known as Harare, Zimbabwe. That church still exists today. And in our travels, one of the homes we visited, we stayed in preachers' homes as we would minister at their church at night. The next day, we'd be at their home to go on to the next church. We'd preach and sing maybe five times a week at the most, three or four times normal week. For six months, we did this. One of the homes we stayed in had a copy of National Geographic from 1975, the previous year. And that issue had an article on Rhodesia, which is where we're going. So we were interested, so we opened it up, and this was the opening picture. In the presence of my brothers, I pointed to the blonde in the picture and said, I'm going over there and getting me one of those. <laughs> Make my blonde stand up. <laughs> so, so... <laughs> We used to tease her about having blonde roots because she could kind of be like Lucy. In Fort Worth, a few years ago, I went to a a half-price bookstore, looked at their section of National Geographic. They had the issue. We have it in our home today. I brought it home, showed it to her. We laughed. She says, oh, my goodness, that's where I was employed when we met. There in the right is a blue sign with red letters, just a little bit. She worked at a women's clothing store called What's Happening? This is the 70s. What's happening? And she says, that car, it's not the right color, but that's the same kind of car I had. We laughed. But then a friend pointed out to us and said, you know, you did get your blonde. Your daughter was conceived over there and she was blonde. She's in Gambia today. For Baylor University and medical centers, working with midwives, delivering healthy children. This is her with a Muslim midwife. I did go over there and get me one of those. It just didn't come the way I thought. She's part of the Global Health Leaders to the Gambia. Trainings in tech. Their newspapers cover the issue. There she is there in her white lab coat. So... Whatever your story is, review it, celebrate it, remember it, visit the old places. You want to have the good feelings? Visit the old places. Turn that TV off and go do something you used to do. And you don't have to listen to worship music all the time. Right? Sometimes the vet and I go to jazz festivals. I mean, everything in the world's not a sin. Right? Have fun together. Summer and Zane and Marvin and Regan and Gayla got me one of those. <laughs>